Okay. Work done for the day. And we are off to the gym. Have uh, consumed, you know, about 3,500 calories today. So a good bit of fuel in. But probably going to leave me with a good few for later this evening. So uh, it's about 6, well it's nearly 6 o'clock now, so later than usual deadlifts. I'm into the routine of later deadlifts due to availability of hashtag the boys. But uh, it is what it is. You know, that means more time for the food to digest, so I suppose it's fine. So obviously today is Thursday. The Thursday, the... What day did say? 26th of October 2023. Which means it's deadlift day in Abs Powerlifting. So on the agenda we have a heavy enough single. Um, and then two sets of seven. So working on to a single, doing some back down sets of seven on deadlifts. Have some cambered squats, hack squats, uh, back extensions calf raises I think that's the whole session yeah so hopefully you can get in and get out and not spend fucking three hours there so but you know it is what it is you get talking and you're in the the vibe and you're chatting away you know shit happens so I have a fresh trim as well so I'm feeling a bit better about myself so like you know it adds to the confidence to execute stuff well when you look well so that's why I'm not wearing a hat it'd be rude to wear a hat after getting a haircut so um, but yeah it's a you know, generally it's it's a fairly standard deadlift day. Nothing crazy is gonna go down. You know, a pretty moderate single around RPE seven or eight, and then yeah, like you know, it's we're three and a half weeks out, so you know, anything heavier like maxing out a deadlift right now could only be a detriment really to me. You know, because right, if you think about it, you have a four week training block, right? You start off light enough, and then you work up to that. You know, sort of almost max effort attempt towards the end and whatever be it reps or singles or whatever so you need a few weeks to sort of recover and get yourself back up to that prime the standard to you know max out so um yeah and obviously we're going to be maxing out in three and a half weeks so obviously no point doing it now because i'll just be fatigued what well too fatigued i'm obviously already fatigued so but a bit too fatigued and it could be a detriment i think that's where you know younger lifters may fall down on or people new to this sport is expecting you know when they see heavy singles on the program just to go in and just absolutely blow their load in the gym you know lift probably what they would want on the comp day and leave nothing really left then for the actual day itself and potentially even less than they would have expected so i know for a fact people do that i see it all the time and i used to make that mistake myself so you know obviously you learn from your mistakes and that's how you mature as a lifter and I think you know that's another reason why people get pissed off in this sport and don't really last very long in it you know people join the sport and only stay for like I don't know a year or two a lot of the time before they even actually sort of get like proper good at it um, but because they don't have simply don't have the patience you know you, see, you can see it in the preps you know they're don't have the patience to hold off and delay that gratification for the singles on comp day and they also don't have the patience to you know spend you know hours in the gym multiple times a week and then obviously eating for several hours a day and you know sort of almost a lot of your life sort of revolves around if you want to be good at it which i'm happy to do because i'm very passionate about this sport uh, since i found it you know i'm five going on five years now fully powerlifting um, you know, I've been training in the gym a bit longer than that, but solely powerlifting emphasis five years and I'm only sort of reaching the sort of standard I want to be at now and even at that it's still not good enough for what I want. So Yeah, it's an interesting one. The fucking tripod fell a while back. I didn't even realize man uh, It's like resting against the car door. So yeah, hopefully it makes for a good picture. Anyway, I've been talking for a while I'm not I'm not a uh, redoing it either you can fuck off like <laughs> but yeah so it is about that delayed gratification and being patient and in it for the long run so five years in the thing and i'm only yeah i'm still a bit off where i want to be you know i want to be 
obviously now I'm sort of I want to be at the top in the country you know I want to represent the country so uh, you know I'm try, still have a bit to do to get there so but yeah making progress anyway so that's the main thing like once you're making progress and you're happy doing what you do that's enough man no one can tell you otherwise you know you can get stick for off your mates for whatever being a gym rat and you know not going out socialising and whatever doing what they're doing all the time but it is what it is man like I'm 26 now as well and too sort of old to be you know abiding by other people's uh, expectations I have to live by my own means now and live with a sense of urgency as well but that's a topic for another day anyways I'm going to see if the boy Connor needs a lift from work to the gym so yeah let's just get into the workout man I'm going to do some uh, glute thrusts maybe and some hinges and maybe activate my, my core a little bit by some means of some planks to get me nice and tight for the deadlifts maybe some bar hangs as well and then we'll just get into it you know a few pause deadlifts working up but yeah let's get into the gym peace ah! more red baby Connor doing the same. He's got a big letter today. Yup, over. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. There's a quarter ton there for Alex. About to take it myself. Alright, Connor taking five reds slash 275 kilos. Second last warm up of the day. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> 270 now. Last warm up. Alex taking 280. Let's go, Alex. Let's be a big PB for him. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good <laughs> shit. Three hundred and twenty-five kilos now on the bar. Okay, six Connor reds Kiernan. for Connor. Big Connor BB. Three hundred twenty-five kilos. Six red plates. Let's go. It's fucking it's go on now. Let's go. We all want to see him now. Let's go, Connor. Come on. Big 
Big brace for Troy with the legs. Let's go. Right, 260 double now, backing off. Uh, ah, motherfucker. I'm gonna fix this shit. The seven. Final set. First set of these, same initiative as last week. 170 first, and then you see from there. I'll say there. I'm definitely saying there. As I mentioned before, we're going to be pulling back all of this sort of stuff, focusing on the main tree lift. So that's why uh, I'm not going as heavy today, just enough to sort of, you know, bit of stimulation. The famous word. Last set, not feeling too good on these. My knee feels a bit iffy. 
just got to pull back and recover harder for Sunday. Right, we got first working set of these. Only two plates a side. Uh, the body is feeling a bit tired. So there's no uh, issue with pulling back, especially this close to the comp. So first working set of, I think it's 12 reps. So should be fine doing these close stance, feet a bit lower down, trying to get a lot of quad action. I think I found the ideal full position for these. So, we're gonna try to keep constant tension and not stop at the top, make it a bit harder, rather than open the weight a lot. My joints will thank me for that. That's it. Got them long femurs, so my feet position isn't as low as I thought it was gonna be. Still good though. That is enough of that. Ah, oh, my quad. 
gonna face the opposite way now, do some calves. Oh, oh shit, I gotta move the mic. Uh, here, hold up for a second. Yeah, so if you want nice, healthy Achilles tendons, you gotta be training your fucking calves, boy. It's goddamn, you don't want no weak Achilles. That bitch pops, you're, you're done. And it's just good for health, stabilization. Uh, Brian is wearing uh, ankle socks, so his calves look a lot smaller. But you don't want small calves. The bitch train, and like forearms, they can handle a lot. They can handle more than forearms. Well, kinda. And the only way you're training them is like calf raise and variation. So it's kind of a pain. It's like cores. I don't like cores. I don't like biceps really, but I train them anyways. I love forearms. I do them every session. I don't do calves every session because it's a pain in the ass. But if you want big calves, you gotta do them. My forearms are bigger than my calves. You do not want that. Like it's cool, but it's also bad. You want big, juicy calves to match everything else, you know. And for general health and athletics, because if, if you have to jump off something high, yeah, Achilles and is taking all that force. You want strong Achilles. Alrighty. I, I gave him a nice rant about calves. Hopefully he didn't say anything. I said both a few times. Oh, that's alright. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't go off. Alright, give it another second. I'll do some hypers. Posterior side of my leg is lit right now. Final set.
That's the calf raise it's done. You probably noticed that like I pause halfway through the reps towards the end and then go again. I call that the double contraction. Essentially the contraction gets harder and then you can go again and get a full one. And that's when uh, shit really starts burning. So if you don't get that second one, you might not be getting the full ROM for your calf, so you might not get the development. But what do I know anyway? My calves are tiny. Anyways, last set of these, dropping down to 40 kilos for a better glute squeeze, so last set of the day. the outro last night don't even have the tripod set up either have the phone resting against a you know a bag and <laughs> um, so making my dextrose for today's session so friday session because obviously I forgot to record last night I came home was very tired it was very late i had a few errands to run i had to get some bits food and then you know make my own dinner get my finish my steps so by the time i finished all that it was 11 30 and i wasn't arsed you know, whipping out the camera again. I needed to sleep, so I'm up. I was up early today. It's currently 20 past seven here in Ireland. So early hours of the morning, getting my shit ready for the day. My breakfast, my lunch, and my pre-workout snacks. I uh, have upper body today. But yeah, less about today's session. It's actually about yesterday's session because this is still yesterday's video. So, um. Yeah, man, decent session, nothing crazy. You know, it was just another one of the, the build, the, the, you know, the foundation sort of sessions. You know, you'll have a lot of those sessions where nothing really major happens, but it wasn't a particularly a bad session. You know, it was just another pocketed session. Um, and they're probably, a lot of them are probably going to be like that now until the competition. So as I mentioned, there is no point in maxing out, but <coughs> obviously pleased with how I how well I stayed in the pocket and happy for the boys with their big uh, PBs. So, you know, um, accessories were nothing major. There was a good bit of dead, deadlift volume actually, so keeping the skill pretty fine tuned with all that rep work. So, yeah, if you're not in it for, for those sort of sessions, then uh, you're only hunting for PBs, you're gonna be let down, man, particularly as the, the training years go on. So we, plenty more of uh, like you know those type of sessions that aren't PBs and you know maybe even you don't enjoy that much but that's all part of the game so anyways folks I'm gonna leave it there because I need to get to work so thank you for tuning in once again make sure to subscribe to the boy and I have to record today's session now so peace